In today's video, I want to take a look at a very simple concept that many of uh, us probably encountered earlier uh, when we started learning C, and that is passing arrays as parameters to other functions. How does that work, and why is it so confusing uh, compared to other languages? First things first, let's define here a, uh, an array. Let's say array of five elements. Sure, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five in here. Simple enough, nothing too fancy. And uh, let's try to, I, I, just want to I just want to print out the size of this array. We know that with arrays, what you can do is you can just say size of array and it will give you the number of bytes this array takes up, right? Um, so I can just print out this size, size of the array, and I say in main, percent llu backslash n, I pass in this size of s parameter here, let's see, just like that. Now, if we try to launch this, well, we're gonna get 20. And 20 is 20 bytes, represents 20 bytes, and that is because we have five integers, and since each integer takes in four bytes on my computer, then that's five times four, which is 20. So it's to be expected, it's, it's the proper result. But what happens when we do the same with uh, inside another function by passing this array as a parameter? So if we create here a function saying print size and we pass in as the parameter here array and we define it like so, we say um, array parameter and it's gonna be an array of five integers. And then we do the same exact thing as we did up top or down here in the main function. We just copy in this and we say size of the array in, well, let's say in print, in function. Let's just call it like that. Okay, and of course, this is gonna have to be array as param. So array param. What's gonna happen now? What's gonna be the result? Well, if we try to call this function, so print size of our array, just array, nothing else, because we know that array of five is actually an array of five integers, so that should be fine, right? Uh, what's gonna happen if I launch this? Well, if I try to launch this, you're gonna see something interesting. That the size of the array in the main function is the proper size, we have 20. That's five times four bytes, that's perfect. But in the function, we actually get eight. What, what gives? Did we lose three integers all of a sudden? And something happens happened with those three? Not quite, not quite. The actual issue is that what we're passing here, whenever we try to pass an array to a function, that array actually decays to a pointer, to a pointer to whatever type this array is. So since we have an, uh, an integer array, this guy is going to decay to an integer pointer, right? So array, array decays to an int pointer. Now, the C language does let us define the parameters as arrays, but it's gonna treat them exactly the same as if we had an int pointer here. So this again really is just this, it's exactly the same thing, nothing different about it. So now if we take a look at the printf, it's kind of obvious why <laughs> we're getting eight, because this parameter is of type int pointer. And we know that pointers are eight bytes, at least when we compile it to 64 bits. So if we try to launch this, of course, we're gonna get eight here because this decayed into a pointer was passed here, was considered a pointer, and then it uh, just printed out the size of that pointer, which is of course eight bytes. So whenever to, you want to pass in a uh, one dimensional array to a function, you're better off just defining the parameters as pointers, always, right? Because that's less confusing and usually, or all the time they're gonna be treated as pointers. So might as well have them there uh, in the same way as it's being used, okay? Then we know that the size of is gonna give a different result and we can notice that this actually does convert or decay into an int pointer, all right? Now, uh, with this in mind, whenever you want to pass in arrays to functions, you should actually also 
pass in the size of that array. So usually I just pass in a size D size and say here five. So that in the function, if you want, usually you want to iterate an array if you pass it to the function. If you want to do that, we can actually iterate over it. So that's fine. Another confusing thing about uh, defining the parameters, the array parameters as this in a function is that you would assume that this is an actual array passed to the function. So a copy of the past array. So uh, you would assume that, okay, well, this is going to create a copy, a local copy for this function that you can then modify without modifying this array. But in actuality, this doesn't happen. If you change the array here, if say array of zero equals, I don't know, uh, 10, and suppose we actually print it here, printf percent d backslash n array of zero, after calling print size, you will notice, actually I have to type in here array param, of course, uh, you will notice that of course, it does get modified, right? So really don't use this uh, definition of parameters just pass them as a pointer. And then it's obvious that of course, since the pointer, it does modify the whatever underlying uh, part in memory it's looking for. Now, one more thing regarding this whole issue is when you're dealing with multi-dimensional arrays. So if you have here, for example, a 2D array, so let's say you have a five by five array. Let me define it real quick here, just like so. What does this actually decay into? Does it decay into a double pointer now that we have a 2D array? Does it decay into something else? Well, when you're dealing with 2D arrays, well, it's, it's a bit more trickier to pass them as uh, parameters to other functions. In this case here, we cannot simply pass in a simple pointer because now if we try to compile it, we're gonna get all sorts of, in this case, just warnings, but a very important warning saying that it was expected an int pointer, this int pointer, but argument is of type int pointer to an array of five integers. What, that, what does that mean? Well, this array now decayed, instead of into an int pointer, it actually decayed into an int pointer to five. That means an, a pointer to an array of five integers. But in this case, if you actually change this parameter to be a uh, pointer to an array of five integers, well, remember that C doesn't care about arrays in uh, the parameters of a function. So it's gonna, again, be converted into a pointer. So this of five is just gonna be removed and a, an asterisk will be added here. But this is actually a problem because what we have here is not in any way sort of form a double pointer. We have an array of five arrays of five integers. That's it. And well, if we were to have this as a double pointer, saying something like array param of zero, zero, so accessing the first one here, right? And let's say I assign it to 10, this is gonna actually crash our program. Now, why is that? Uh, that is because of the way arrays are treated in C. So arrays are kind of treated specially, but with pointers, that, that doesn't, uh, doesn't fly. So array here gets treated as a double pointer, but it is actually just a simple pointer, simply because if you do array param of zero, well, that is the first element, the first integer at this pointer. And if we dereference this guy once, we are gonna get the first int in the first array, right? But when we say this again, right, of zero again, well, that's invalid. Why? Because this gets evaluated to one and we try to dereference the address one. And of course that just breaks everything. So you cannot do that. With arrays inside of the main function, right? Array of zero, zero equals 10, you can do that simply because they are actually uh, arrays. They are not pointers, they are not double pointers or anything like that. And this is treated uh, more in a special way. So what, what can you do in this case? Well, 
if you really want to pass in an, uh, a 2D or multidimensional array, well, you have to pass it as this, but you're going to have to convert it into an int pointer, right? So convert it into an int pointer, get here just a simple pointer to our uh, integers. And when you want to change something, so let's say I want to change, oh, I don't know, uh, I want to change on the third, the third uh, array, I want to change the first element. Well, what I can do is simply say of two times five, right? If I say of two times five, well, that's gonna go 10 integers down the line. So it's gonna skip over the first two arrays and access this one. And if I want, for example, the third element, I can just say two times five plus two in this case. And if we print f here, let's say percent d backslash n array of, well, two times five, that's two and of two, we're gonna see that we get 10 as a result in here, right? So this is how you would uh, juggle around with multidimensional arrays that are being passed as parameters to other functions. I know this is a bit more complex, but uh, really this is the way to go because of that weird quirk whenever we define um, arrays inside function parameters, they do get converted to pointers. But of course, as I said, this array cannot be treated as a double pointer because this is all there is in the array. If we dereference it once, that's it. That's going to be a number, right? And if we try to dereference it a second time, it's just going to dereference some others five. And of course, five probably is some protected place in memory. And it's going to break, right? So in here, we have to treat it as such. But in here, if you have an actual array and ARR is an array identifier is not uh, some sort of function parameter, then this, doing this, is specially treated and it does actually work. But behind the scenes, the program probably does something uh, that, something like we did here, okay? It's just one dereference is not actually two. Okay, and that's about it for today. I know this was a lot, but again, as a conclusion, uh, if you want to pass in just a one dimensional array to a function, just uh, define the parameter as a pointer and work with it as such. If you want multidimensional, simply just uh, have a single pointer to that array and dereference it like this inside the function, but you can also dereference it like this inside the main function where this array is defined. Okay? I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code for all this will be found down in the description below on our website. Take care. Bye.